Okay, back at it. So, we finally have robots. Uh, let's see, I have four more of those actually. Wow. And I want to say more incoming, but not really. This is busy loading steel instead. <laughs> ah, well, there we are. Oh, and the robot is placing it. Alright. Give me a second there. Okay. So now. <laughs> Hard at work placing things. Uh, so now we need to get our robot down here. So that I can set up some autom automatic um, connection of robots there. So I'm probably going to need like how many? There. So like one, two. Yeah, I can probably make it up there with the robot ports I have. So yeah, next one needs to be somewhere around here. Approximately. Let's go with Guess we can put it here maybe. I think I'll go with here. Oh, I think I can move those belts. <laughs> Look at that, the bots are already on it. They are a bit slow though. Port. Let's get one there too, just to have a bit of extra connections. Yeah, because now everything is connected through here. These are getting shot at, yeah. Uh, so, next we need one somewhere around here. I'm not going to move the oil refinery for that. So let's just place it here instead. And a pole for that. bunch of... no? No? Okay. I guess not. Oh yeah. The, uh, the green circuit supply is a bit short because of the short uh, copper supply. So, let's see here. Probably want to place... yeah, that, I guess this works. Actually, no, that. Okay, so I just need to fix those up a bit. I do like that. Get 
some power there. And there we go. Look at that. 78 construction robots. Alright, so... What actually needs to go there? And, uh... Yeah, that one's up. And, yeah, now we need to move this belt slightly. are less than 500 maybe and this one robots are less than 100 those will work and then whenever I trash any robots they'll go back here and then let's see here I'm gonna need some of these and probably some more of those actually so Can I make some? Can make some of them on pocket, I suppose. Five. Actually not, maybe. Yeah, actually not. <clears throat> yeah, I just have to go get them. So yeah, I'm gonna set up some uh, trash chests for those as well, for the <coughs> flying robot frames. So yeah, I think I'll do this one because this is what I'm going to be needing more of. So logistic filter that and we'll do the same kind of thing here. As long as frames are less than yeah 500 nay let's do 1000 and then all flying robot frames will go here whenever I trash any of them and uh, let's also set up a, some of those for these batteries So I'll do that and battery. Yeah, that should do it. This will be prioritized before these. Or maybe even put it in here. So, so that it has uh, a dedicated line there. Uh, anything else? I can do the same with electric engines and engines here. Uh, I can't really do it with engines actually, but I can do it with the electric ones. They're eating there, wow. Should be okay. Uh, but here, oh, whoops. Oh, come on. I am doing the wrong one. And 
and uh, let's see. Can do it down here. Yeah, electric engine. And that can probably be one of those actually. This one I think can also be. Actually, I can just do like this, right? No? Alright, it's right click, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, now I can go back out. that too. So let's see, do we have any more chests here? Do not, but I will still use this to upgrade these two. Whenever I do get those chests. So that I can automate this stuff out here as well. Place it here. And then I can get a roboport in here. being consumed in there. And replace that, and yeah, now the robots will be able to repair all of this as soon as, uh, as soon as that, he, what's the word? As soon as the uh, chests with turrets and uh, yeah, these two that I just placed there, as soon as those are upgraded, this will be automatic. So that should mean this can now hold almost indefinitely, now that it's almost fully automated. The only thing that's not automated here now is uh, ammo supply. And also I suppose actually uh, wall supply, because I don't have stone right now. So I'm gonna need to rebuild back up to there. Yeah, look at that there. Fixing. So yeah, actually for that I am, I suppose, also going to need these two. So yeah, now we have robots going. So next priority is going to be to grab more copper. And this is fully mined out. Okay rid of all this. And uh, at this point I kind of don't need to walk anymore or move or I have been walking that's, which is the challenge but you know at this point I kind of don't need to move at all anymore. I still will need to move a bit because I still need to... Um, yeah, my robot network isn't quite powerful enough yet to 
um, do things like expand down here for example. So I will need to do some moving for that. But apart from that most of these other things can now be automated and most of the building can now be automated too. As soon as these fill up Maybe I should move these two around. And then, let's see. Oh. Actually, no. Yeah. These are gonna have to stay. redo that. Uh, this one. But yeah, what I should do though is do like this connect. And while chests. Or less than say 50. that there. And then same thing but with these. So with that I don't need to have limits on those chests anymore. Should all be fixed up once I get the uh, logistics chests up. Okay, that is taking damage. What is this doing? Yeah, this could need reinforcement too. So let's trash some stuff here. We have chests for those. All that I have just set up for actually. So fix that. Thank you. And um, let's see here. Yeah, this one is not stopped. That's good. So then these, this one can hopefully start working. Maybe. Yeah, except this one is dealing all of them. one where is this one going there I guess yeah I guess that one really doesn't need to be um, provide right now because I don't have logistics robots, so I can't really make use of that anyway. I can set up some trash chests for stuff like this. So stone I have up here. So let's put that like here maybe. And we can put iron here. And 
That's also iron, that's also iron. Okay. Oops. Okay, so I have a few more roboforts now, so let's get some more coverage down this way. Oh, that's perfect. And a power pole. Can I? I cannot quite connect it up there. There it works though. Okay, so now these are in coverage. But I don't have automated ammo supply for them yet, so I'm gonna have to figure that out too. So I should probably just put up a solid wall all the way here. And some more coverage this way. should work for now. Here they come, yeah. How many more Roboforts do I have? Six more, wow. I want to reconfigure this a bit. Let's say this will work as long as we have less than, say, 10 roboports for now. I'm going to re increase that quite soon. But for now, that should be enough, kind of. So 50, 50. So that other one's done. Oh, this one. Oh, very nice. Okay, so I don't need limits on these anymore. And let's do as long as we have less than two hundred fifty turrets. This will be working, and as long as we have less than 500 repair packs. And then we can do, yeah, 500 inserters is probably a good number. Currently we have 255. Okay, so what's next to upgrade, I guess? That is walls done already, okay. Let's do as long as we have less than... Yeah, let's say 2000, that's a good number. This will work, no? Oh, well, it's a filter inserter, okay. do I need? I guess I should set this up too. So as long as we have less than 200 miners. We'll do these and upgrade that on that too. Radars is also important to have. Say, yeah, 200 long inserters is good. And we can do like 250, maybe, of the blue ones. 
and say 100 filter inserters. one let's do oops okay so belt less than two thousand no I can actually go over there it's probably easier whoops I guess those are deadlocked now yeah, I'm gonna need to go fix that, but first fix this. So let's do splitters less than two, oh, 200. And 500. Let's go down and fix that. This way too. But yeah, I should keep my attention here for now. This one also needs more ammo, I think. Yeah. Yeah, at least now the robots can keep all these repaired and replaced. Right, another way to to make sure I have ammo supply down here is to just use flamethrowers. It is easy easy way to fix that. here. What was I about to do here? Oh yeah, that's probably just assemblers. Um, like fast in, fast assemblers and speed modules. Speaking of which, I should hook these up too. So how many Roboforce do I have now? Seven? Yeah, so let's uh, do here first. There. So 
So then this needs to be <coughs> in line with that belt. So there. Oh yeah, it's there already, okay. Cool. Let's spare the trees when we can. Oh, I'll use a big one. There. Now I can repair this remotely. This is so nice. Get rid of these, get rid of these. Fix that. <laughs> Replace all these. Oh, we're out of a... Uh, well, or rather... Okay, it's just we're getting pumped in there. But yeah, we are consuming more than we're producing. Fluids... So that's not looking... Alright, oh, because that's always declining. Uh, actually... okay. Still consuming less than being produced. So, do I have enough robot to make it up here as well? Maybe? Five. So one, two, three, four. Just barely, maybe. Let's extend the coverage to cover these walls. How's our walls looking? Still 2,000. Yeah. We have plenty of walls still. So let's get coverage for the walls. Don't think I want it quite that close to the enemies. So let's do there. And this reaches up to just, yeah, so this pipe and halfway through that. So there. And that'll cover everything else. And then from there we need to be in line with that turret. So there. And these are just backups, can get rid of those. Don't really need any of these anymore, but yeah, whatever, I'll keep them anyway. So that's going to cover all of this, pretty much. Yep. So do I have rogue port still? Still for more, okay. So I can expand down to here as well. quite cover everything but okay so we need to be in line with what just set a guide thing there okay so there I think I want to put it around here or maybe there yeah here also works Those are done. <laughs> and this has never been working. Wow. It's getting quite noisy on the map now. Uh, and I don't mean these, I just mean 
all the things happening on the map. Right, so those are going to kill that. And then come down and kill this Roboport. Maybe? Maybe not? Okay, I left the rope fort. See, I really need to... I even have the oil here even, so I can just set up flamethrowers here. Uh, but I need a new... A new I need a new radar here. Let's put it there, should be good. And... Yeah, we need a bit more radar <laughs> Robofort coverage, like there. And then we can do... Let's see. Flamethrower. Now I'm gonna get rid of all these belts, because I don't really need them anymore. Although, let's save some bot work for now. Okay, what else is getting killed? This is getting killed. And this, okay. Right, so for all of this I'm going to need... ...pipes and underground pipes to be available. Do one thousand pipes and yeah, one thousand underground pipes. Why not? And these are all out of ammo. Let's get a radar down here. Please take me here. I guess all the robots. Oh no! We actually have available robots. Cool. Right, I was about to upgrade those with some circuits there, but I don't really need to right now. Right now I just need to place a whole bunch of flamethrowers, basically. Oh, whoops. Oof. <laughs> that would have been an embarrassing way to die. I think I can leave more ammo in these, because these are less likely to get shot. These will just get insta-killed by the spitters as soon as they show up. have enough radars? Or did I not? Oh, okay, I don't have that yet. 
Alright. Let's disable that for now. Because I need a few more of those chests. this one. This new feature is really nice that the boss don't have to pick up the belt and go fetch a new one to place down. Means I can prepare these things in advance. Okay, so what's getting killed now? Oh, okay. Okay, now we have radars available. Cool. And now I can finally pick all these things up here. Five hundred insurgents already. Well, so here, as long as we have less than, let's see, one hundred radars. And I'm also going to change this one into a filter inserter, or. Uh, a storage chest or logistic chest so that I can do spawn. No, oh, wait. As long as there are less than yeah, 50, say, in there. Same thing there. So that will recycle inserters. In case I ever need it. I don't really need that, actually. Because I can just... Um, I'm gonna need to use those inserters eventually anyway, probably. Okay, so that's fine. And let's see, we have some good coverage. Okay, that's gonna be enough for a while. So I can put this back. What else should I... Uh, I should set these up as well. These are not in the network though, I think. So let's upgrade all these. Just go over there to fix up the settings. <laughs> it looks so cool. Uh, okay, so let's get some coverage on here. Less than 200 of these is enough. Since these are not actually consumed by blueprints. And yeah, 200 of each of these is also fine.
10 minerals, probably okay. Do I have any? Oh, this also requires iron sticks. Wow. And 10 of those is probably also okay. Down there, okay. I still have a few run more rounds of ammo there. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna need to go get down there. Yeah, I really need to just fix up all these crises and then start placing flamethrowers everywhere. Hertz, 200. Place flamethrowers in here. Can do like I think I can repurpose this belt now as instead an ammo carousel. Okay, where are they killing now? Oh, okay. Okay, let's hope they get in there. What else up here? Okay. We have... We don't have covered for that yet. Okay. It's because this has no power. up a bit here and now turn this into an ammo carousel uh, I need a chest here I can put some ammo in there and inserters 
Although I should probably just move these a bit. Like that. I cannot move these, so I'll have to move the turrets instead. Uh, so that I can use long inserters for these. doesn't actually work though, I need them even farther. Okay, let's move them all up. Alright, and this also needs to move more. That should be much more resilient. Yeah, not all the robots are engaged here. Everything is on the way, it seems. Leave a bit more ammo in there. Okay, and now I need to figure out this oil. Actually, I should just do the thing I was talking about. I I guess I need to access this pipeline because I think all of this is fed from this one pipe. Should be, yeah. So I can just put light oil in that pipe instead. Like that, basically. Yeah, something like that. I'll do something slightly different once I, <coughs> different once I get there. Okay, this one does not reach the belt. Put a. Uh, I haven't upgraded this yet. Let's do that one while we have flamethrowers less than 200, maybe.
and change this into a filtered chest. need to make sure this doesn't work forever. See, well there's less than 500 engines in there. Well, 200 is probably enough. There. Okay, flamethrowers are up. Now I need some walls here. move those turrets back a bit I suppose instead so you can have a bit of extra space there to remove all the trees here. Everything that's in range of these flamethrowers, basically. dead. I should not have been standing around here. Yeah, there's been a few more close calls here than I would have liked. Uh, I should be much more reckless at this point. Or much less reckless, I should say. Uh, let's fix that. And this is... Yeah, this radar should be incoming. Uh, let's figure out this oil. Uh, let's run it next to this, I suppose. Yeah, that's gonna work. I don't have coverage here. So that's gonna get destroyed.
that's no good. I should just do like this instead. And also put a turret protecting the ammo stash. This way too. Well, that could work, but it's a bit too far out. Okay, over here can work too. So then this goes. pipe. Okay, now that should bring oil down to these once that's done. Nice. Oh. Oh. I thought I went the other way. <laughs> That was at least my intention. Okay, so up there, up there, up there, up there, up there, 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 and there. Yeah, that should bring me all the way. See, are these? Yeah, those are mostly out of range for the outer wall. It's good. It means I don't spend as much ammo on them. Uh, these trees also need to go. Let's do these. That should be okay. So once these pipes are finished, this should get a whole lot more secure. Alright, and I also need to attend this coal mine, yeah, because that's not feeding anymore. Uh, that's a big problem. And just go grab some ammo and go ahead and fix that. Though I do have this <laughs> giant stash of this stuff. So I can power the power plant with that and I probably should. So that I don't need to rely on the coal. Go this way. I'll just grab as much as I can carry. Okay, and this is beyond turret or robot coverage. Alright, uh, we're going out there, and now I need to probably be attentive on what's happening here. But yeah, let's expand some robot coverage out here too. Let's 
So one short of that pole. It's up there, okay. But I, I already have the oil pipe there, but oh okay, maybe have they killed that maybe? Maybe they have. Yeah, I don't really need to fix this right now. Although yeah, I'm losing robots. to die. <laughs> How are these pipes coming? Oh, this is not connected. Are these two separate networks? No? Oh, it's too far down. There. Please stop repairing this. It's completely copper starved now. Most because, I guess, uh, because I have uh, bumped up my mall here. Or bumped up to the limits. That's probably why. This is fine. I can repair that eventually. At least this one isn't destroying any robots. Okay, now these pipes are coming down. Okay, so now these should start. No? Oops. Yeah, 
that's no good. I'm just gonna have to repair this and then go straight back. That's not very great. I should also have put efficiency modules in here. Yeah, I can do that later. See if we can get the power back up. There's some coal I can take from there, but yeah, I guess the better bet is to just grab that enormous stack of solid fuel and put that into the power plant. 
That'll keep it running for a while. Unfortunately, it's quite a trek to get there. And this is still okay from that angle. I can lose that stone outpost. terrifying. <laughs> it felt like they were right on top of me. Okay, it's getting killed. Okay, at least I only have to go down here, not all the way up there. So, okay, uh, I'm gonna drop down a chest here and dump some garbage. That's not really garbage, actually. Those are quite precious. So, yeah, that's good. That should get the power back up. I could put another power plant here. Mm, no ongoing attacks right now, at least. Mm. And I think the oil should have gone and started down there. go on the inside, keep a bit safer. Everything else is built. Nice. So that should be... Oh, it's not enough. Okay. Oh, I guess the Roboports are actually getting quite a lot, of, a lot of power when they want to charge. Okay, now we're back in the green. Okay. So now this is back up. Good. This is feeding ammo. This is back up again.
<laughs> yeah, that's the robo ports. Okay. We're back into shape. Now I can go back to worrying about placing flamethrowers all over the place. So yeah, that's flamed up. And yeah, I should go um, up to the oil refinery and fix so that I have, so that I'm running the flamethrowers on light oil instead. So that means I need to go there. And there. Yeah, and there. Let's get some deciders up here. Mostly so that I can pick them up and uh, use them instead. Okay, and we now have coal coming back in. Okay. So how's it looking here? We have a few more roboports. Not enough to expand the coverage all the way out here. This copper shortage, I'm getting kind of low on ammo now. Let's see, evolution is 76%, so that's not rising that quickly now. It's good. I think it is asymptotically approaching one. So, yeah, it does slow down a lot uh, the, f the further you get in the game. The higher you get, the, the more it slows down. Okay, this back in order. And yeah, now I need to fix this a bit here. So... I'm going to place... this. 4,000, 5,000 even. Okay, I'm gonna do like this. I think. Yeah. Actually replace that and go over and then and pump in there. Flamethrowers run out of ammo, or oil rather. It should transition over to light oil. And uh, yeah, we have another sink for the light oil. So these can now continue working. These are cracking down to light, and that light is going in there. Petroleum, I guess, is just stacking up still, yeah. But yeah, now we really need to get working on, on uh, claiming all this space and taking this copper ore. 
because without that copper, I guess I should also come back up here and take a look, see how that's doing. Okay, that is still working at least. So maybe I should just get this back in order. I have one rollerboard? Yeah. Uh, so, if I need flamers here, a place like that, I suppose. Maybe a bit further in, actually. I don't want to burn that pipe. I'm not sure how I can... I guess I can do like this. Put one facing this way and one facing that way. belt. Okay, let's hope they run into this turret then. Uh, yeah, I really need to fix this here. Yeah, because this is actually the oil feed for the entire base. Uh, so yeah, uh, fix that. Like so, and like so. off and yeah I think that should cover most of the flamers so let's put up some more walls here like that kind of not quite that far out turrets and I think we'll get rid of these walls too. Keep some of these and now replace that rubber fort and get all this fixed up. I think I need to fix those right now. Rather I need to focus on me more territory, which maybe I can do with with flamer turrets now. Maybe. Actually, speaking of flamethrowers, how long range does this have? Fifteen. That's not a lot. That's not even close to being able to take out worms. These actually have a pretty good range. Range 30, that's only slightly less than big worms. So I probably actually can turret creep with uh, flame thrower turrets, as silly as it, may, as it may seem. And it also means I spend less uh, of this kind of ammo. So I think I'm gonna try that. But I will want to bring a Roboport for this. Okay, there is one more there. Okay, so I can bring that one and I can also dump a few circuits in there.
Let's pause there. Let's see what else I need to do. I need to set up some chests for that. So I had those here. Iron plates instead. And this will be steel plates instead. Put that there. And now, soon. there. Now I want to also place another of those four circuits. Can I do that like here? No, not quite. It's okay. Let's see. These are not in coverage. Okay, that's a bit unfortunate. At least I can move those iron plates. Right, I need to go out and fix this. But, uh, yeah, I don't have enough robots to do automated coverage all the way, unfortunately. Chest for wood and place that there. Yeah, now I can trash this, I think. With no one or two for plastic as well. Keep missing. There it is. Yeah, that at least has plenty of ammo. flamer turrets. Sweet, that means I don't need to spend as much ammo on those anymore.
I didn't bring any robots. Ah, that's silly. Oh, whoops. Still wrong. What is this doing now? Okay. Well, I guess we can configure this one. Less than, say, 200.
some efficiency in here. This needs a new radar. I want to go in here, down the middle, and place some efficiency modules in there. And yeah, I don't really need to get working on this. Because that copper is kind of running out. That's all modules I have. Not quite enough to fully module this whole thing, but at least for <coughs> 60% reduction in all of them. Do I have any more RoboHorts now? Maybe? One more, okay. So yeah, I was talking about turret creeping with flamethrowers. Yeah, I think that is probably the way to go from here, to save ammo. And also maybe it can mean that I can keep myself slightly further away from danger if I use a robot to do it instead. I guess I can try that on this nest. It's not that big. This should be a relatively low risk thing to attempt here. Are these still not working? Huh. I guess I pulled up all the power poles or something. Oh yeah. Are those still not in... Oh, there are none. Oh, okay. No, that should get that fixed. Because now those should be producing, yep. So, if I can claim this copper ore, then I think we're looking pretty good from there. Because that's going to last a long while. And this one is also going to be... Um, I mean, if I can take this, I can probably take this too. And that should keep us covered for quite a while. So we can probably get on uh, expanding some more robot coverage, producing more robots and everything like that, and then finally re reach the tipping point where I can do just do everything remotely with robots is my hope here. 
But we have a bit further to go until we reach that point. So this is definitely not a one game just yet. I need to claim these before I can be somewhat certain that I will make it all the way. Actually, these can have productivity modules. So I should put productivity modules in those. I don't think I can do that, that remotely, right? Like if I paste that, I don't think that applies the modules. No, it does not. But I can, yeah, can just remove them and replace them. Let's do those two for now. And do I have coverage down here now? I do not. Configure the inserters. So while we have speed module less than 50, say. Whoops. Ah, whatever. And uh, productivity module less than 50, and efficiency less than 200. here okay so how's the coverage here okay so I can just expand this whole thing all the way out there like that easily are going to die here. And then I can place flamethrowers there. So one, two, three, four, five. And that'll be out of range for spitters. Let's take one more tile for safety. Continue these pipes out here.
please stop repairing this. We're getting there on the robot count at least. So now please go that way, please don't kill the roboport. Yes, that way, thank you. Perfect. I just need one more pipe here. And then this will be all up and running. Should get rid of the trees. I guess I can't actually. I got so those trees are just gonna burn. And it's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. And that is there we go. This should now be fully working. Let's place one more row of walls. A good measure. So that should be nicely shored up there. And yeah, I don't think these really need any more stuff. I should do the same thing out here though. To reduce the damage I take on these. So I can just place walls all the way out here. Let's do f yeah, three thick should be good. walls to get placed and then start up with the flamethrowers. Can just copy this I suppose to get the right spacing. So there, so that's gonna collide with this existing wall. It's a bit awkward. So I guess we'll place them inside for starters. that. Also coming down. I still have walls, I hope. Running out quickly though. Yeah, this is not gonna last for much longer. So I need to take that stone too. Uh, yeah. Let's just wait for these to get placed. Somewhere here? There? No? There, okay.
Oh. Need to fix these up as well. Don't really need that in my hotbar. Uh, well, that needs to be like that. less than 20 maybe and level 2 assemblers less than 100 maybe Outside, yeah, that's outside the network. <laughs> okay, so I need more of those. Okay, I have three now. Cool. No, not the flamethrower. Should probably have just placed the the pipes first, actually. Yeah, now these should be coming in quite soon here. Get this whole thing started. Let's try to save these. This one too. And fire! Okay. So now we can start these back up. Now that the oil is in there. It's gonna get a bit messy for now, but it's gonna fix itself up eventually. Yeah, and this is now fully operational. They're not going to break through here anymore. At least not before they get to Behemoth Biters. Which is still a, uh, a ways away. What goes into landmines, actually? Steel plates and explosives, which is sulfur, which is water. Okay, so that's actually no copper in those. That's pretty. That's good. So I could start mining or making these as well now. Making and using. Now that I have the robots to support it. Ah, now these. All these suddenly came down. Uh, okay, so that's missing a module. We have the modules available though. Okay, so now we can pick those up and replace them with these. And same there. And all the way. I 
Should probably do the same with these. Can I fit them in somewhere? I think I can do that with these. Nope. But at least that's a lot of the copper consumption. Now has modules. Let's do the same with these. This does unfortunately uh, destroy the items finished stat, but I think I can live with that. Don't think it's quite worth it to do it with the copper wires. This does mess up the ratios, but that is also okay. They're not fully fed anyway, so the ratios aren't really important right now. Okay, this is stabilizing, it seems. So now we can... That. Take all this stuff down. Because I wanted to have these flamethrowers this distance from the walls. See, I just need to get rid of the turrets. But yeah, let's do the whole thing. engaged. Look at that. Perfect. So this should no longer require any manual intervention to keep this defended. And then let's place this down. Pipe goes there, I think. Yeah. So this will have to be something like... That should work. can fix those to get these out of spitter range.
logistic filter this. And run this one as long as we have less than 4,000 ammo in the network. that into a storage chest and run it or place it. Yes, that's gonna dump a bunch of ammo in here it seems. But with this filter chest, I can easily move it over there. Uh, anything else I can move? Steel plates, maybe? No. Still not connected. So, how many roboports do I have? Still? Three more roboports. Yeah, I still have two in inventory, it's good. So I can extend this over here. I place walls down here too. That's my thinking. Probably don't want to place it all the way out there right now because it's gonna, just going to get destroyed. So, let's see here. We can place walls out here. How many walls do I still have? 600. Oh uh, yeah, we'll be recycling some of these. Quite easily fit some famers in here. Until I can expand this here. So let's see, let's get a robot here somewhere. Some flamers. One is probably enough actually. And with that, I can expand a bit further. Probably don't need three thick actually. Save a few. Oh, 
some of these are missing modules. I guess I can just delete some of this actually. It's not really doing anything right now. That's how many? Uh, 10, 20 modules. Okay. Can also dump some of these that I have in my inventory. I don't really need them in my inventory. Okay, that is almost completely up. Just need a few more pipes. Okay, oil is backing up again. It's good. Can get rid of this. That's also. Just a few more pipes missing there, and we can dismantle this. Oh, these were not actually connected. Whoops. Gonna keep these for a while longer. This I don't think I need anymore. Let's fix this back up. No. I'll wait for this to get placed or to get oil first. Is this one set on the way? Not currently. The robots are finishing up their tasks. Okay, this one needs connection. So now I can expand this a bit further down here, approximately.
So there, let's... There I have a blueprint for the outer. Uh, for the distance to the outer wall. So let's place some of those here. Let's one, let's get one here. Oh, actually, let's do it here first. Yeah, and I guess I should also... So let's see, how far is that? That is... 12 tiles. So this should snap to grid width or height 12. Perfect. And this way... That. All right. So yeah, it seems like I have almost now transition into StarCraft mode on this game here. So, yeah, all of these are placed. Perfect. We can get rid of this. Fix this one. I think it was there. Yeah, I'm gonna make it there. And uh, now I can dismantle all of this too. Can actually keep some of those turrets for safety. But most of these walls can go now. These can probably come down too. Okay, still just the walls. These walls can be recycled. Gonna make one specifically for walls. And yeah, let's trim most of these walls down. Yeah, those are going down. Let's keep some of those as well, but just get rid of most of it. Place some of these back down just for a bit of safety. Okay, that's done. Take this down now and expand this. This can go. This can move out here. See, do I have that? I do have that, okay. Maybe I can just creep like this, actually. I guess I can try. See how it works. So, if I place... So, storage chest, if I do... Wall. And... Pipe. And... Underground pipe and lane turret.
And then I place those right about here. Should also have one for repair packs. Just in case. So I'm gonna wait for those to be placed and then move everything from here into there. Okay, so here I can actually set a recycling thing for... Maybe I should do it on here instead. Yeah, here's good. Recycling chest for copper wires. And yeah, these are not in the network. It's not really prioritized right now. Anything else I can recycle from here? Electric engine units would be good to get up here. Oh yeah, I have that. I do have those there. Okay, so those are being recycled. What else do I have? That can be recycled. Engine units. Do I have those? I think I have those here. Yeah. So it's not a constant consumption drain. I think it's a bit difficult to get it in here since I'm using direct insertion there. Uh, what else? Uh, let's see. Batteries, I think I put those up. Coal, I can do. Copper ore. It's there. Okay, so I have copper ore somewhere else. Probably somewhere around here. I get rid of that so I don't have storage chests in more than one place. Oh, there it is. So that should move that up there. And we'll then coal and batteries. And I think I had batteries up here. Uh, yes, that is being recycled. And coal. I'm gonna do coal like this. That's even in the network. Cool. Let's so filter coal. Okay, those are down. How are the robots doing? Okay, mostly idle. Uh, so now I can move these down there. And I can move... what else? I need some walls down there. Here's a good amount of walls. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. <laughs> okay, at least those are now moving like, a bunch of walls. Uh, so that's walls, flamethrowers, and I need some pipes as well. Do I have pipes in here? I have some pipes in there. So now I have walls down here. Flamers and stuff, cool. And this can move forward. not going to place those yet. 
We'll wait for the walls to come up first, and then do it. Now I need radars here. See how much clearance I have here. So right around there I can place a robot. Like there-ish. Uh, and now they consumed all those walls. Well, I just need to move a few more of them down. How's this doing? Still doing okay. Okay, this is now completely consumed. Oh, um, yeah, I'm running a low on walls, actually. Uh, so, yeah, that's we're running again. Although, not really producing much. At least that is coming in here. Oh, is this not working anymore? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, Let's connect that back up. Also turn these two. Well, maybe I just need one actually. Mm. Remove those and replace it. Oh, actually needs to be there. So there I can recycle yellow ammo. Where are all the robots? Oh, there. Okay. Bit. Those are no longer needed. Yeah, these are running on crude oil, but uh, I guess it's fine. Yeah, I'm not short on crude oil right now, so that's fine. It's down here, okay. Oh, let's save this rubber port. So they can get that done quickly before they attack again here. Okay, that is done. Move the walls forward. Can we recycle some of these walls now? Okay, full coverage is there. And take those down. Okay. Optimize this a bit too. And yeah, these walls are not really needed anymore. I'm still going to keep these pill boxes though, just in case I ever need them again. I 
just in case they breach here. It's nice to have a bit of backup. And these are gonna need more ammo. Okay, and now I can finally expand the wall all the way to this lake here. We'll do it like this for starters. I did set this up right. Yep. So I can trash that, that to have them move it there. One thousand walls, okay. Those are here. Oh yeah, there are green circuits there. Which I wanted to put in put back in circulation here. Or maybe over here actually. Yeah, here's also good I suppose. So can I do that? could put them in like this, but then these would be prioritized in the way belts work. Uh, but yeah, this over here goes up to the robots. So I can probably put it in there. And yeah, if I put it in there... They will actually be prioritized correctly here. Uh, okay, that's inside the network. Filter... Circuits. There. robots are idle, so let's get those coal pieces away from there. And let's get those circuits away from there. And those wires. And I can also set up the same thing for sciences. Science, 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 and science. Let's put that one there. That's not actually gonna work. Uh, we need to put it up here, but I don't have space. Um, can do it like this. Red there. There. And then military up here. And blue. Over here, I suppose. Let's see how that works out. If I put it on this side, yeah, then it will be prioritized. I can put that right here. Yeah, I can probably actually trash some of these as well. And some other stuff I don't really need to carry all that much of. This I can get rid of. That. 
Right, one grenade, I can get rid of that. I'll keep that. But I don't think I need to carry these many walls. And not this many power pumps either. Okay, what's happening now? Okay, they're eating there. It's okay. Let's get these moved up. I need to peel off one layer of walls. And then I can do that. Oh wow, <laughs> that's bold. Okay, so let's see if we can do the turret creeping thing here, I suppose. So, medium worms. Huh. Yeah, this is a bit awkward. It's gonna get killed. Big worm that has a range of 38. This has a range of 18, so two of those. Actually, I can just do this. 38. So that's the range. So if I place there, I think that should be out of range. This is 30. Yeah, that looks like it's out of range for the worms. So let's see if they kill this. all this stuff. Let's move these over here. I'm going to make this one a provider just to get that Warning, silenced, up here. And again here, I can again just remove half of this. To save a few modules. <laughs> Funny how they expanded in here just as I was closing this wall here. That's some ironic timing. Well, at least I have plenty of walls for now. I'm going to run out of stone soon though. But yeah, well, so each wall is 10 stone. So that is 700 more walls. It's not gonna last long at this pace. Okay, so this wall is safe. That means... I can move some flames or turrets up. So let's do some, wall, some pipes first. Let's actually build this out 
This whole box kind of thing. So these have range 30, which means they, the worms have a, have a longer range, unfortunately. But not by much, so maybe I can just overwhelm them if I have enough flames or returns. So those... let's wait for these to finish. Let's do this later. Let's just get rid of these. are finishing up. Now I can move these chests over there, or move the contents over there. And I want to get a few more walls down there. Should be a good enough start. Yeah, unfortunately they're flying this way. <laughs> it's not the best. Let's get rid of this so I don't have to keep repairing it. Or even better, maybe I can do like this. I wonder if they'll take that path then. Yeah, okay, not this time. Because <laughs> they just chewed it through it. Okay, here we have a place for a flamethrower. So if I just run some pipes all the way up there. We do. This kind of thing. Should make some blueprints for this, I suppose. Like one without the flamethrower, just like that. And I'll put that there. Get rid of this one. One with a flamethrower. And now, let's see here. Let's place a few of these pipes. Very good, they're using these. And now let's see what happens if I do this. Oops. That should take out this spawner, I suppose. <laughs> Rage mode. Yeah, okay. Um, 
take that up. And let's get some defense on that side. Yeah, at least we're good at repairing. Okay. That should clean that up. Okay. Very good. We can move this forward. So I should also have a chest down here for roboports. Now this is getting interesting. Yeah, as soon as I move inside this range, these worms are going to start firing. So I suppose let's see what happens when I do that. Let's try to cover all of the worms in there. So that means I need the pipe all the way here. I can just do. Let's see, I can copy this. Put a pipe like that. Maybe even have one more. Don't want them to actually place it. Maybe I should just not have these pipes. I think it's a bit more reliable this way. So if we do that, yeah, then they collect it over here. Uh, I need a, another pole for that. I need to move some of these roboforts down there. that pipe prepared, so that doesn't quite cover all the worms. Almost though. Let's move this a bit forward. How many repair packs do I have? 300, okay, so that's pretty fine. So now let's see what happens. How much is this of everything? 2252. Okay, I have enough of everything down here. So, let's see what happens. This is interesting. They haven't even destroyed any of the flame retorts. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that works. That worked much better than I expected. Wow. Okay. Proof of concept successful. It is possible. It is perfectly possible to turret creep with flamethrowers in like remotely wow i have not done that before i think the first time i tried the no walking challenge i probably used laser turrets i think which of course makes this whole thing a lot easier but these are honestly not far off from that because you can have the ammo supply as it were almost instant i just need to get the pipes down So yeah, I'm impressed by how well that worked. <laughs> but okay, let's continue applying the same principle 
in this direction, I suppose. And just claim ever more territory this way. If I can take this stone, then this whole thing is probably going to get easier. Because then I have uh, almost unlimited supply of uh, walls again. Because I think it's probably about to dry up. Yeah, this is drying up. See how many do I have? Another 300. How many in total? 2,000 walls in total. Okay, I can probably get rid of this one now. And uh, these, I think, are at the good distance. Yeah. So these walls can also come down. This is no longer needed. And I should make... I'll just make another hotbar for all of this stuff with all these uh, blueprints and things I need. So, let's see. I need a deconstruction planner that does... Uh, that has flamethrower turrets, pipes, and pipes. Yeah, that's probably a good one. Uh, can I change the icon? Yeah, I can. Cool. Uh, icon that. And that there. Walls there. And then, let's see, I'll have... I think I want to rotate this blueprint a bit. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. <laughs> 12, 21. Yeah, the width doesn't really matter. Okay, that gives it a nice orientation. Yeah, and I wouldn't need uh, the slight indication of the distance there. So let's get pick that up again. Take these down. And let's put that there. Some walls there as well. What else do I need? I need roboports on there. And power poles. Well, that should be all, I think. So yeah, let's let the flame turret apocalypse continue. Uh, I want to... Extend these roboports as far as I can. So that's there in that direction and there in that direction. I think I probably have enough turrets and things. I can get some more pipes down here. That's probably enough. Anything else I need more of? Maybe some flame retards. Maybe some repair packs. Should do. And let's get a few flame retorts as well. It's probably enough. How many robots do 
left to have here now. One, okay. I would like to get this covered by flame turrets as well. But I think I need to concentrate my Roboforce down here. And these need some attention. There, that should do it. Perfect. So how are we looking on oil here? Yeah, we still have way more oil than I need. Okay, good. And we're still producing robots at a slow but steady rate. So let's get rid of some forest here. We can put it here, I suppose. Just clear it out. So we don't need to worry about burning it. Let's uh, again move the walls. Or maybe I actually need a radar first. There. So I should get another chest for radars down there. Radar. Oh, and also one for the logistic storage chests, so that it's easy to move these. Let's put that separately away, so that I can move that first and then move the rest. So I'm actually going to now change the stream title to, title to uh, Lame Turret Creep. Or something like that. Okay, so let's uh, yeah bring out the range indicator again. So 38 is there. Really, I, I only need the outline. So I can do that, simply. Uh, let's put that in here too. I'm actually going to make a blueprint book for all this stuff. Flame turret creep. Give it a nice icon too. And uh, let's see here. This range 8 indicator. also need one for... actually I can just do this. Copy. And medium worm range. Oh. Medium worm range. And that's gotta be 36. Probably actually want this other direction. There. And like... That. And then let's get this one in there too. And both of these. And 
let's see. Move these around a bit here and big one range, medium one range. Okay. So big one range is there. So let's see if that's in range. Let's also get a few storage chests down there. Oops. Accidentally took all of them. Okay, they're moving here. So then let's deconstruct that again. Should be enough. Oh, they're here. Whoops. Uh, and that needs a bit of reinforcement. Much coverage to have. Can I build out some more roboports there? Two. So yeah, looks like I could extend the flame walls up here. Okay, those are dead. Just continue this pipe from here. There. And uh, pipe. See that doesn't quite cover the corner. Let's do it from this side instead. So there. I could actually move these over to run on flame or on light oil as well. Things are done. And let's get rid of all these trees. It's 
bisschen eh gewonnen. Looks like it's only this, this pipe missing. That's coming here. So, fire! Very good. Let's see how many turrets do I have now. Flames are okay. Hundreds. It's great. So, let's get. Con let's continue here. How much more. How much closer can I move here? So that is outside or out of range. This is probably within range, I think. Oh yeah, and I was about to move these forward. Like here. Now oh, let's keep them out of spitter range, so... There, approximately. Yeah, let's put them there. Okay, that is also out of range, it seems. Let's move these forward. Oh, those are going the wrong way. Why? Oh, because there are walls here as well. I see. So what else went the wrong way? Radars went the wrong way, but that's not so big a problem. Oops. Should I also extend this wall all the way down here, maybe? I can, it seems. It would make a lot of sense to do so. things. Yeah, okay, let's stop moving that. Cause now, yeah, 500 walls down here. Okay, so... Yeah, I had that nice design back there. This one. Let's put that into the flame turret creep thingy. So that's actually more like back there. So let's see here. I want to box this in a bit. Uh, 
All right, I can extend the. Oops, it's not what I want. Can extend the. Okay, this is also out of range, it seems. What about there? It's getting ready. Uh oh. Okay, that is within range. Let's extend this all up in a box like this. Place one of these in there. So if I do that, then I can move another one how much closer? There. That does kill the big worm, it looks like. Let's get rid of these. And I think I want to keep this kind of minimal here. So if I do like that, and place a little pipe there, then let's see. I can put flamer there. That'll get rid of the worms, it seems. Let's try. Oh, wait. Before I do that, I need to connect up the oil. Okay. Now we can move forward with this. Okay, these spots are getting a bit too close. <laughs> Okay, flame turret creep operation number two. Let's see how this goes. It's out of yeah, the pipe broke, but it still has plenty of oil somehow. Okay, yeah, this is definitely working. As silly as this looks, it is. Surprisingly effective. Let's get this repaired, okay. Then extend this box forward. Actually, why even bother? I can just keep extending this. Uh, but I need more Roboforts first. Let's get one in there. But yeah, it seems like I can now keep doing these kinds of expansions with little to no uh, danger to myself. So that is very important here. Let's get a chest down there for big power poles. I have a chest of chests here. Ah. Okay, it's a powerful chest and let's move it. Here comes the robot sausage. Yeah, I'll just move all of them. Why not? There. Okay, now maybe I want to save this one before it gets annihilated. Come on, save it, save it! Yay, we got it. No, I can just continue creeping this one forward, I think. Uh, 
that's going to take out most of this nest. <laughs> so, we should get some more research done. Specifically some refined flammables. Seeing as that's going to be our main damage mode here. <laughs> yeah, these actually have quite a lot of hit points. I hadn't realized that before. And even though these have very high resistance to fire, it's, um, yeah, a continuous stream of fire is going to make that not really matter all that much. Okay, so let's continue the Roboport coverage up here. Um, how should I do this? Because I don't want to risk losing a Roboport, because those are very expensive at this point. Uh, so I guess I'll just keep moving boxes like this forward. Might not need all of these flamethrower turrets though. Let's just move these. Or I can. I guess I can leave the turrets I have. So I can make a box like this. Something like. Here, maybe. Put a rope fort in. And then continue creeping. Myself back into uh, into this area, like the heart of the base, basically. Put myself right there. They killed a pipe. That's fine. And yeah, that's the nest gone. This is probably the most silly thing I've ever done in this game. But hey, if it works, it ain't stupid. So I think I'm gonna go down this way and then just continue claiming this shoreline and then wall off here and then continue expanding this way. That's what I'm thinking like here. So let's get these roboports out this way. I think I have a few down there. Yeah, three of them. So uh, I think I can remove this without losing connection. if there are any robots nearby. Anyway, I need to move this out. Okay, I need to expand coverage first. So let's do it like there. Actually, yeah, there's good. And purple. Can someone remo remove this, please? Guess it doesn't really matter all that much. And there's connection, and 
move the walls out. So I guess let's get this covering the corner. Like that. And uh, let's get these away from here. Pick this back up. Probably don't need to clear all those. Just these should be fine. Let's move this forward a bit. Uh, maybe like... I think I'm gonna move this roboport. Yeah. Are these? Yeah, these... Oh no, these are not connected. Okay, so let's connect them back up. And yeah, let's wait for with this one to be placed first. here. So maybe I need to get to working on cliff explosives too. I don't think it's all that much I need to do for it. I just need grenades, explosives and empty barrels. Explosives are sulfur and coal and water so I kind of have almost everything I need already. Uh, sulfur and coal, I have both of those right here. I have water here as well. And what is this pipe doing? So I could put something like here to make explosives. I don't really need all that much of it to make cliff explosives. Two explosives, and that requires ten, so that's five, so that's twenty-five seconds for per cliff explosives. That's probably way faster than I need. Empty barrels are just steel, so that I have right here. Um, and what else? Grenades are coal and iron plates. So yeah, I have, uh, I have everything I need right here. And this is producing more than I need for the science, so yeah, I can just do it right here. So... Let's get some space here. Do I have a camp plant in my... yeah, there. So explosives, and then these are made in... 
Where? Are those made in the summers, maybe? Uh, there. Yeah, okay. This can be uh, one of these. I also need one of these for empty barrels and one for green nades. So now let's see. Uh, this one could squeeze it in here. It's not very pretty. Oh, that's okay. So I'll move this forward a bit because I don't like having inserters grab out of in, out of those uh, uh, underground hoods. So there's there and the water. These can move. It's not one. There and that will make explosives for this. And then I just need grenade and empty barrel in there too. I can make both of those on this side. Perfect. Don't even need to split that in anyway. So then here I need something like that. And a split there and a split there. Even move the split up a bit to there. And then one of those. And this will be working as long as we have less than, say, a hundred cliff explosives. That should be all that's needed to get this working. Do I also have Roboport coverage? I do. Perfect. So that should start up any second. Well, actually I also need to uh, fix these chests. Let's just do all of these. And also, I'll just move over there. So there. I can go, yeah, I should reach that from there. Let's see down here. Right, that's what I was. That's why I was working on cliff explosives. Uh, but I can remove these walls and this rubber port. Now I want to move these forward to like here. Doesn't really make a difference actually. And there we go. So this is almost halfway depleted now. But luckily I can grab this quite soon. So let's see. Okay, there's one. So that is up and running. So let's put things down again. Blow up some rocks. I 
I should probably close this wall too. I even have a few Robovors now. Yeah, quite a lot of them. Maybe I can even reach all the way out here. So how are these going? There they are. One, two... And a third. Okay. One is actually probably enough for both of these. There we go. Wall is officially moved out, so we can get rid of these. And this wall. Yeah, I want to move these out a bit so that I can get rid of this roboport. Let's move them there. Here comes the bot army. Oof. So what about this here? Yeah, it's probably time to move this out. So can I... I can just do the same thing here, I guess. Just wall all the way out to the edge. Poor trees. I guess I can clear these up actually. Or no, I cannot. Yeah, wait. Can clean this up. actually still quite a lot of pollution and I'm surprised this is still standing assuming it is but I mean since since I still have full oil here I assume it is oh there goes the forest Uh, 
Okay, so let's see how we get some flamethrowers down here. I guess I need some more robot coverage up here this way. Like there. Then I can extend this all the way out there. Probably. Yeah. Like so. Not worried about cutting the oil supply right now because I already have 200,000 oil stacked up here. So with that I can continue this line of turrets this way and let's get this covering the corner again. How far was that day, actually? Okay, that's pretty okay. Yeah, that works. I need to squiggle this up a bit, like that, maybe. And then continue this way. And yeah, now I think I can take these walls down. And all the way down here. And let's get rid of these belts, I don't need those anymore. Unless I need to go out here manually, but it's starting to look like I won't need to. I just might be able to make enough roboports to get robot coverage out there. And then, and then I can just do all this remotely. Okay, looks like that one is dead. So let's get rid of these. Uh, fix these up with undergroundies. And continue the flame turret coverage. enough. And yeah, maybe these belts are in a bit of danger now, but that's okay. At least coal doesn't burn on the belt. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Although that would be a very funny mechanic if that were the case. So how much wall? I still have 2,000 walls. It's good. Can even recycle some of this probably. Remove that for now. Okay. Is this all working? Okay, looks like these are all online, so let's dismantle these. And these are no longer needed either. This one's still needed. I think this still connects, if you do that. Yeah, okay. And this is not... Oh, uh, whoops. Let's put it there then. Uh, okay, these are all online. Can take down these walls.
Now this forest is probably also going to burn, but it's fine. Or can I... Uh, yeah, okay, I can save this forest. Just for the sake of not turning it into pollution. Too late for this one, though. Getting pretty nice now. 500. It's kinda decent. It's about like four, four and a half thousand less than I would like, but it's a good enough start. Still has a good amount of copper in it. It's fine. Can take some of these down. Alright, and let's continue this push down here. So now I think I should be able to. Yeah, I think I'll wait for some of these robots to come back. I guess it's all these. Yeah. I should probably also make some more banks of storage chests. Uh, where can I put those without having to move them later? Maybe here? Yeah, this looks fine. Did I put up a recycling chest for red circuits? Looks like I didn't, so let's do that. Oh, and I went here to set some uh, Insert the settings and I never did. Okay, so let's keep that working while oil refiners are less than 20, maybe? That's exactly how many I have. Cool. And uh, let's say tanks less than 50. less than also 20 is probably fine and camp plants less than 50 and is this not limited <laughs> okay that's for all my green circuits are going uh, this one there, and let's do pump, no, pump less than 50. So yeah, I'm never going to run out of pumps again, probably. <laughs> Shame these 
don't really... Yeah, I, I don't think they're used in any recipes. Are there any other chests I should upgrade here? I, there are a few more I can do. Like this one. Chests less than... I'm going to need quite a lot of these eventually when I start making train depots or train stations. So let's do... Oh, not 2,000 but 200. And... Unlimited chest. And yeah, let's basically upgrade all of these at this point, I think. So which of these are upgraded and not? Okay, all of these are upgraded. Good, and this one is two. Well, it looks like all of them are covered at, at this point. Okay, so let's... Yeah, this one. Steam engine less than yeah. Eighty is one full power plant, so let's do that. And then boilers is forty for one full. Right. This one doesn't have a limit. Let's just set that one to 48. And I don't think I will ever use those again, but anyway. There we go. And offshore pumps. 20, maybe. And that should be all of them. Settings on these two. This one is not covered. I'm not really going to use those, I think, so let's just set those to 50 as well. Oh, and labs also is not covered. So, lab. Uh, less than 50 is also fine. That should be the entire mall, I think. I no longer have an assembler for steel furnaces, but on the other hand, I don't think r I really will be using those anymore. Because I will want to upgrade to electric furnaces to keep pollution down, probably. Speaking of pollution, it's now at 76%. Still... Okay. And this is out of ammo. So I might need to make another trip out there. Unless I can make it... So we don't need these robots anymore, really. Oh. And I do have a few robots down here, right? Yeah, four. So I probably have enough to make it out there. No. But I kind of need to expand the wall with me to do that. Can I do this? It 
feels like I'm going to lose that Roboport if I do. Just a few robots. One, two, three, four. So yeah, I can actually make it out out there. I also need to close down here. Might want a radar somewhere around here too. Like there. So, how far apart can I put these? There. Then I can extend this wall quite far out. Like this is definitely do doable, for example. So if I do that, then the wall ends up there. Here they come. So if I place that around there. Looks like that will work out just fine. down this way. Yeah, sure. Just move the wall a bit. Okay, now something is happening here. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, let's try to cut our losses here. these flamethrowers if I can help it. So that radar is probably going down. Yep. Now let's hope they go either way here and get killed. 
<laughs> okay, so run into these flamers, please. Okay, thank you. And I'll put those back. Are working. Yeah, not all of them. So these waves here should be all to finish this, it seems. So this one isn't really needed anymore. this so let's see how many robots we have now okay four more so we can extend down this way too. We can even clear the forest. Those are back online. Oh, that's a ghost, okay. I don't have coverage here actually. Let's fix that. Looks like that should do. Oh! <laughs> this one found the one dead angle too. Okay, so. There, I guess. Or maybe I can just get rid of this completely. Yeah, I can just get rid of this. Because this already covers the entire wall. Yeah, that's fine. Somewhere else to go. 
and die. Meanwhile, this is finishing up. is expanding. These should be coming in soon. Radars. Is this out of range? Maybe? Oh, the, yeah, that's out of range. Oopsie. I guess I'll just pull that in slightly. Because I don't really have the robots to spare right now. This will be a bit more vulnerable, but that's probably okay. Okay, and now I can finish this all here. How far does this go? Okay, I think I just want to go continue this way. Finish this. And let's put one this way. Yeah, that should be okay. So I'll wait for this to finish completely. And then I'll dismantle this one here. There's a forest here too. So yeah, I need to yeah, basically all the way out, okay. Like that. And yeah, now these are going to okay they are. Yeah, they're going to kill that turret. Or no? What happened? We'll just try to kill that before it kills the turret. Oh yeah, I guess it set them on fire and then they just died from the damage over time, I suppose. thousand walls and a half. That's good. Okay, and the robot is here to save the day. No, the robot. Okay, a new robot has come to take its place. Oh, my poor robots.
Yeah, let's just hope this one comes soon. These are finishing up the walls. There we go. These cliffs can stay, actually. As can these. No, actually that one cannot. Okay, this is done. Take down this internal wall. So yeah, now only two more roboports remaining here. Tiny trickle of red circuits coming in. Yeah, I really need this copper. In the worst case, I can just take down some of these internal roboports, like this one, for example. I can do that already. And uh, this one, after I move these forward. And this just got placed, it seems. Because there was a sudden burst of like 300 robots starting to work there. Okay, the wall is almost done. We have flamethrowers all along the wall. Maybe I should also get started making mines. That is just steel and explosives. Seems easy. So we can spaghetti this up a bit here. Five seconds. And five seconds. Okay, so that's one to one even. Right, yeah. Five seconds for two explosives and two explosives in five seconds for four landmines, yeah. So that's almost one mine per second. Already. Like 0.8 mines per second. That's probably plenty. So, um, let's just put that there. Limit that to like one stack, maybe. And let's get one of these for this. This can actually even be like that. And then like that. And uh, there we have it. Gonna be landmines, and that inserter is going to work as long as we have less than a thousand of them. Let's say it's a good starting number, I think. And there it is. Oh, this is. Coal belt. Oh. Oops. Gonna need to get that repaired. Do we have any power poles close by? Yeah, up here. There. A 
Look at that. Beautiful. Also no trees in range. Except for those. Sorry trees. Yeah. That's not necessary. completely finished. So this is going to yeah this is going to hold for pretty much all the way into the late game. As long as there are no behemoths this will just handle anything they can throw at me and uh, when there are behemoths incoming I can just throw down a bunch of landmines and uh, that will handle them too. So, from here on, it's starting to look quite difficult to lose. Of course, now I've probably jinxed it. But yeah, it seems that way to me. Can I move this up slightly? Not quite. I want to get these into the network. Ah, I can do that later. So, let's see here. I think I maybe want to prepare some blueprints for this push here. Like some space robot ports and uh, this wall. So that is... How far back is this? If I want to cover the entire range, then I need them back here. So I'll move that robot port there. need to be like that and if I do that then this repeats every 12 tiles and this repeats every 50 tiles I think yeah, that doesn't quite line up but I can fix that one more step before I do. Well, yeah, maybe the interesting thing here is to keep the roboport's close here so I can expand further actually. So yeah, let's do that instead. Just keep the ro roboports as far forward as I can.
So now about these turrets. Yeah, I'll move one more layer out before I start thinking too much about that. I think that's about halfway. Yep, exactly halfway. Are these out of... Oh, this is not connected. Okay. There comes the RoboPort. Now this should be on the way, yeah. Good. Now all robots are available, so I'm going to move these down here. Start with a few at a time. I'm just waiting for these to move the stuff up here so that I can get rid of this robot port. Actually, maybe I should have moved it closer to this one. Yeah, it's a short trip at least from the next one. So now let's just wait for all the robots to recharge. And then finally move these. Oh, they're moving it the wrong way. Is that because this is no? It's because I have some of them here, I suppose. Now they go here instead. Hopefully they'll make it before they need to recharge. Yeah, looks like it.
only a thousand walls. Oh yeah, I guess I can dismantle this now, actually. And also these. because those will cost copper if they get destroyed. So let's just remove them. They're not really doing anything right now. are occupied with this deconstruction plan here. Whoa. Yeah, I guess it's quite a trip to move these walls down here. But yeah, these defenses are now pretty much in impenetrable as long as I don't run out of repair packs and walls. And yeah, running out of walls um, is going to happen. This is only good for another 200 walls. But hopefully by that time, by the time I need all that more walls, I will have this. Hopefully. Guess I am going to need like 20 more walls or something in order to finish that technology. Should be fine. We can get these robots back in order. Probably don't need these anymore. They're probably more of a danger to the stuff I have in here than they are useful. So let's get rid of that. Now the plan is to just sweep this forward and then this way and take this whole thing here. Is the idea? How are the robots coming? Two more. Okay. Maybe I should now set up these circuits actually. 
So where can I squeeze those in? I guess I can put them like that and like that. It's fine. And then, yeah. Take this. To, I'm gonna need this to be placed. Before I can continue. Okay. So read robot statistics and Total is less than a thousand, let's say. Let's start with there. Okay, that's good. I think I'm gonna pause the research for now. Or do I? I'm not gonna do a research that consumes military science, because that means I'm consuming walls. But yeah, maybe I should get this one. The other alternative is to just funnel everything into um, into red circuits for roboports and robots and all that. I guess mostly roboports actually, because the construction robots don't actually need uh, red circuits. Yeah, what if I actually disable this? And just concentrate on making roboports because the primary objective right now is to take this copper. And for that I'm going to need more roboports, I think. See, I think that's the right call, is to not do any research right now and just keep making roboports. Seems like the right thing to do here. So I guess that actually means I need to disable this here so that all this copper can go in here instead. Okay, how are the robots looking? Okay, all are available. Yep. So now let's uh, move for forward with this here. Just take this whole thing. I think I'll just do the walls first. Right, only the walls. Uh, so, shift, there we go. Move that as far out as possible.
Might lose some flamethrowers here. Yeah. Oh! I have all this quite close, so it's actually quite quick to build here. There we go. This is burning. Okay. Because this is a robot going to repair another robot. Okay, we can move this forward. Um, let's see. This one. Still needs to stay. But then the rest can go. So now let's see here. I want to place this as far out as I can there. And I'll design this up a bit to be easier to use as a blueprint here. Uh, this robot can be recycled. This one too. Oops. Um. Wait. Okay. Okay, something happened there. I'm not sure what. Now I split the networks again. Because I had... I think I had 800 robots. No, maybe not, actually.
So I need this, that spacing on the roboports. And I can take this one down soon. this optimize this a bit for repeatability pull this one slightly that way put this one then in the middle and there this should now be a repeatable pattern to be a bit less oh yeah it's just 50 so there and that should do it I think yep get rid of this one the road there. Roadport and flame turret. So now get rid of all of these. Take these down as well. This kind of works. Completely works, even. Where are all these robots going? Are they getting killed? Ten minutes. One robot. I must just be splitting the networks then. Yeah, 42. Where are all these going?
Not gonna do the same kind of thing here. Walls. Get rid of that, and I just move these away. I think. Actually, no. Uh, I need those because I'm going to place this again now. Down this way. Like that. And now I can get a grid kind of thing going on here. So take that away. And let's see. Let's make that first. And make a copy. And then get rid of all these walls. Right, and there are some more things I need to do first. I need to connect these pipes. Like that. And then select again. There, and that should be 50, and how high? That doesn't actually really matter that much, I think. So let's, yeah, that should be good. And oh no, yeah, but yeah, I can just align it like this as well. That also works. Okay, so that's the one. Let's copy that and get rid of everything except the walls and the roboports, just for alignment. There. So now I can use this to expand. Actually, I should... Oops. Remove those two. So that I can use that to just expand the walls. Oh, and I guess the repeat one also needs power poles. still. Okay, that's still good. Get rid of this one. That's good. And now a corner version of it as well. would instead have to be... how exactly? Like that, I guess. Or maybe 
maybe even a bit closer so that it can cover the entire corner there. So there I should do it. And I can copy this one. And that's going to be a corner piece. piece for the walls as well, I suppose. So that's like this. Get rid of everything except the walls. Right, I need this one here. And get rid of everything except the walls and the rubber ports. And remove this rubber port and that's the corner piece. Place that, place that, and I guess I need another deconstruction planner here. One that takes these and these and these. These, and these, and these. Should be all, I think. And let's see, this doesn't actually have oil now. This one to dismantle this whole thing here. Leave the thing in the middle. This will be fed from up here. We'll need to come in here, I suppose. Two rubber forts and lame throws on that one, and same there. Now I just need to wait for this to get constructed. over hmm. 
because <laughs> these are within range now. So I can take this down now. Everything is fed through the middle here. Let's see if I can use one of these to finish this. Looks like I can, probably. Wrong one. This one. Looks like it covers all of it. So we just need to wait for these two to be constructed. Okay, I can deconstruct this whole thing now. Yeah, this one should also deconstruct the walls. Uh, so take all of that down. This one though can stay. Should probably keep the robot ports actually. Just so I can deconstruct everything else and then pick up the robots afterwards. Uh, okay. Okay, those are done. This is impassable. It's perfect. Is the water blue now? Wow! The water is blue. This was almost blue even. You know, the pollution has really come down. <laughs> By a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that's efficiency modules. Okay, let's see how this is going. Quite a few robots already now. So, let's place this down. going though. There, okay. Okay, let's not do this one right now. So this one should not be doing power poles and rope ports, so I can do those later.
They're all busy moving the walls. Yeah. That's okay. That is what I need them to do right now, so... It's fine. Okay, now we have pipes and painters there. So we can uh, quite easily do these pushes here. robots here, I think. See, so I need this to finish up so I can move on to moving this forward. Just waiting for a bunch of robots to become ready so that I can order those to place these flamethrower pushes. Okay, now we have a few. Where are they though? Okay, 200 ready. Yeah, and most of them are pretty close by now. Okay, so I think we're ready to make this push. Like that. And there it is. this nest. Okay, let's wait for this to be repaired and then move it over to the other one. There we go. We don't need to place those pipes again. Yeah, plenty of robots ready. So, let's do this one. them. Alright. We have success. So now we can continue moving this forward. Tear these down. Yeah, actually these can reach that now, so that's good. Uh, I'll need to tear this down too. And probably this one also. So, wall forward, wall corner,
Yeah, and everything is right here. That's perfect. Yeah, they have a full tank here. So yeah, oil is not going to be an issue for this. I basically have infinite ammo for these turrets. Which is why I use them in the end. Okay, wall is finishing up, it seems. Yeah. So now I can move this forward. Are there robots flying there? Yeah. Okay, so I need to expand this way too, so I can make this convex. Uh, I was hoping I would not need to do that. I can just sweep this way. Might try a bit further on that. But yeah, if that keeps up, then I will need to make this more convex so they won't be flying over this nest. Okay, alright, and then I also need a corner piece there. out here. Let's just tear this down. Okay, and wall forward. Wall corner. And this is not going to make it so. Let's tear all this down also, so I don't need to worry about that later. Take this one down. Maybe I don't need the walls to be too thick. Maybe I can get away with just, with just one layer. Let's try. There.
Then we'll do one of these four global forts and poles. down. This one too. Now this I think can cover the rest. Yep. So now we can take these down as well. Piece. Yeah, this is going pretty well. I don't quite need to take this nest out yet. Uh, just go down and then go this way. Or maybe I do want to just take this one out. Keep it simple. Can I reach? I cannot quite reach all of it. But there I should be able to. Closer. Okay, that's as close as I need to go. And then this can be there. So let's wait a bit with this one. Actually, you just wait with this one, I think. Oh, uh, maybe. Maybe all of it. Okay, so that's coming. Yeah, okay. Let's just place all of this. Is that all of it? I guess we'll see. It is at least all of the flamethrower turrets. It looks like all of the underground pipes. So here we go. And fire! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, this is just unreasonably effective. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, it's gonna take it out. Yeah. I guess it's random now if I get a damaged flamethrower turret or a whole one. But okay, uh, let's tear down some of this stuff. It's time to move this one forward too. Fall forward. Oh, corner piece. Oh, yeah. Just going to try only one layer. Push forward. And corner piece. Guess I don't need the walls in this at all, actually. Okay, there they are, the damaged ones. Okay, looking safe. Tear this down. And these as well. This robot. Now it's maybe time to make 
one of those more aggressive tower pushes or turret pushes there. First I'm gonna move these forward I think. to start sweeping that way quite soon. Just need to take this choke here, and then I can get started on that. So I'm thinking now what other resources I'm going to need to make it into the late game, and this copper ore is going to last for quite a while. It's mostly going to be used for circuits of different kinds. Uh, this iron, not quite as long, but still quite a while. I'm trying to think whether I can make it all the way to artillery with these. Patches. It's actually not that many technologies down. So that's 1,000. Let's see what else. It's 8,000. And then, let's see, um, that was, no wait, wrong one. There, 400, and 1,200, and 1,200, so another 2,800, so 12,800 more technology points is what I need to make it to artillery. And I, yeah, I don't know off the top of my head how much resources that is. Wow, that's actually not that much. Oh wait, the low density structures is quite a lot of resources. But yeah, I at least we'll be able to make quite a bit of progress towards that with these patches. Maybe not make it all the way. But if I can get to artillery, then the rest of this is going to be just really easy past that point. So let's see how the roads are doing now. All are done, okay. So next layer. Maybe I'll just put this here somewhere. And there. Alright, I'm also going to move this to... Let's just do that now. <laughs> I 
Almost made it. shoot up to this wall. Oh, they don't shoot walls, okay. That's good to know. started on moving these pipes forward. I don't think I really need all that much further. Okay, I do. I need to get there to cover the entire nest, but I think I'm gonna have to do this one in stages. I'll take this first, for example. Maybe if you... Yeah, maybe if forward here. So that I can take out all of those big worms with this. Are they all ready? Almost. Yeah. Enough of them already to make this push. So let's get all the big worms in this right there. There it is. Don't really need that. Might lose some turrets here, it's fine in that case. Yeah, these are <laughs> a bit too close. Clean up the rest. <laughs> this just looks so silly. There we go. Let's get these repaired and then pick them back up. Meanwhile, this will move forward.
So I lost four of those there. That's acceptable. Uh, so are these... I guess I'm out of robots, maybe? No? Okay. They are incoming. Oh wow, seven. And... Uh, oh, and I never finished this, did I? Okay. So let's do green one. And uh, then if z is equal to zero, or actually less than a hundred, I will also send green. So it's total construction less than two thousand, or available construction less than a hundred. Then this will go and then here we'll have a total logistic mods is y let's do just a hundred of those and available logistics mods is x and a hundred of a <coughs> hundred of that is also fine So now, let's copy this, oh, let's just actually, yeah, copy, I'll pick these up because those are useful, and the rest will be do like that, and there, that'll regulate robot production to some reasonable values, actually I might already want to bump this up to like 5,000. Because I don't want to be... I don't want to stop producing robots anytime soon. Okay, that's the iron ore claimed. And yeah, let's just continue pushing here. already pushed all the way from here to there. Wow.
what's up with this wall? <laughs> okay, there we go. Just a few more layers to go here. These cliffs can stay. Can this one? So this pretty much covers everything already, so yeah, I guess I can do that. And with that, I have successfully sealed this choke here. Just need to clean this up, but that'll be part of pushing this way. Oh, I guess I need to clean these nests also. Oh, a thousand robots already? Oh. And here I might actually want to leave two layers up, just in case they breach one. I'll still have a second layer to fall back on. Yeah, let's do that. And let's also reinforce this back up to two layers. Maybe even three. Just for that bit of extra beef. So, okay, I can get all the way out here. walls placed. Should make it easier to keep these from dying. So I can keep the biters at, at range.
is sniping these robots right out of the air. Okay, let's get some pipes to... maybe? There we go. So I was initially worried that I would lose too many flame turrets doing this and uh, just to run out of resources in, in that way. But that really does not seem to be a problem here. This is just, like I said, unreasonably effective. One is confused about what just happened. <laughs> Alright, this is completely locked off now. I think I want to clean this up too, maybe. On the other hand, they're probably just going to expand here anyway. And this should be able to hold without a problem. So I might not bother. Yeah, I will not bother. Let's clean some of these up though. And yeah, now we can start sweeping this way. So I think I want to start about here so that I can bring this piece into the whole thing as well. doesn't really line up, does it? Guess I can maybe do something like this instead. Or like this. How likely is this to get destroyed? Maybe I should just push out to this base first. And then go from there.
prepare the box, so now we just need the pipes and the balls. And then I can place this. You're doing great, medium lighter. I believe in you. need to be up. So yeah, maybe I'll lose a few more turrets here. Just because those pipes were destroyed. We shall see. They're going to recharge. What about this one? Okay, another one's incoming from there. <laughs> okay, now I just need this one. There it is. No. Ah. <sighs> okay, we have fire. <laughs> However, briefly. Okay, we have more fire. And this one should be able to reach all of them. Yeah. Seventy percent fire resistance. Does it really matter when you have a constant stream of fire raining down upon you? All right. Done. Oh, this one actually made it through. Wow. I told you I believed in you, medium miner. Well done. Let's 
see about this here. Hmm, I guess I'll do something like this. Yeah, that's in line. Yeah, just pull this all the way up. Down to this one. This one can probably come down a few tiles. Yep, that's enough. See if I have enough robot ports for that. Looks like I do. this that is only half of it so just like that Whoops, looks like I did blow up that cliff. Ah, that's okay. Where? Oh, wait. Did I mess this up? Ooh. Why are there double rubber ports? Oh, yeah, I misaligned it. Ah. Can I undo that far? Okay. So this needs to align on that one, I suppose. Yep. Okay, probably lost a few buildings there, but that's okay. A few robots, a few pipes. Yeah, a couple of turrets. No robot ports at least. That's good. Any 
reinforce this wall here. Just as a bit of backup. I don't think I need that, right? Yeah, these are, these will connect still. Looks like it's enough to hit everything already. Get some oil on here too. It's kind of important. those up but then I undid that so oops okay here they come and that should yeah there we go okay that is done This will go this way sometime. like I burn that turret. Like I burned a robot port. That's not great. 
but it's okay. Don't need this. And yeah, there we have a good front. So yeah, since I accidentally blew off that cliff anyway, I guess I'll just pull the whole thing forward here. This one. Wait, I need to leave some of the belts at least. Although I still have or pipes. But I still have this up here actually. down and let's see here there should do it I can leave this pipe there and then tear down everything else so like that I can tear this down up to and all of this can also go all right except I still need those pipes down there At least the turrets can go away. So this has a pipe, so there. Let's continue this one. And that, uh, then I can easily tear these down here. Yeah, I can feed it from these pipes on this side. 
that's should be fine. Yeah, let's just turn it all down. Oh wow. Yeah, we're seeing pretty big bursts now with the roboports. Maybe now it's time to move these forward to like here in the middle. Let's make another aggressive push here. So yeah, we can make it all the way it seems. I've actually cleared the entire pollution cloud this way now. It's pretty nice.
Still plenty of flamethrowers. That's good. And here they come. Come on, pipes. No pipes. Pipes? this pipe. Yeah, okay. It's a good start. Looks like these don't shoot pipes either, actually. That means I should probably do this. Let them place the pipes first. They do shoot the robots, but not directly on the pipes, it seems. It's pretty hard. Hmm. Yeah, they really don't mind the pipes, it seems. <laughs> As soon as the turrets land, they just destroy all the pipes. Ah. that up.
Let's see if these are interested in the pipes. Nope. Okay. Yeah, that's a much more effective approach. Just place the pipes first and then the flamers afterwards. Those repaired, please. Also, let's move this up here. Twelve hundred robots. Cool. And yeah, plenty of robots too. Take this down now, as well as these. It's done. Take those and next layer. And then we have another stone patch too. We can use to keep making walls. Yeah, we're actually almost running out of those, or well, running low at least. So yeah, this should be no problem. Moving this front forward at least to here. Then maybe I'll need to get a bit creative to 
to reach out in and, and get that copper. But it should probably be no problem that to do that either, I think. Here I think again I'm gonna leave this layer of turrets just in case anything breaches to have that bit of backup and then I'll probably move that forward eventually but I'll leave it there for now. Just wait for these to finish. I can probably do another layer already. And we'll see how much of this forest survives, these flamethrowers. It's a bit dubious, I think. are getting quite big. Well actually this one is probably the biggest one on the map right now. Yeah it looks like it. Like this is all done. So still that one. Anything I need to cancel? Yeah, I can cancel some stuff here. Maybe I don't actually need that. I don't need this. Okay, I can, I think. Yeah, I can cancel these. Place the turret there instead. Also work. Now peel all of these forward. Or 
maybe I should just leave the pipes down. Yeah. Sure. So this is what I was going to leave, so take these down. And also most of the rubber ports. Uh, do I leave the top one or the one in the middle? Okay, leave the top one. Or actually, I need to clean these first. Same thing here. don't care at all about these pipes. Oh, here they come. These pipes are not finished, that's not great. This is only medium worms. Might help a little bit. Hmm. Okay, here come the pipes. some walls here, I suppose. I think I lost all five of those. Maybe? Yeah, most of them at least. Oh well, it's okay. Okay, let's move this forward.
I guess I'm running out of pipes down here in this storage. Yeah. Maybe I should just move some of these down then. came in through there, okay. These, these are just shocked at seeing everything deconstructed in front of them, I suppose. Can these come this way, maybe? Thank you. 
do the same old thing here. And I guess also here. some kind of box for this. That's this box, I guess. Big worms are quite troublesome. Okay, the walls are up. This also looks ready for turrets. coming from here now maybe fire for a bit before they get destroyed. There we go. So that I'll try in later.
Wait, I can't reach there. So I need to move these out first. place these a bit closer. Like there maybe. I should also try having s a few more connections here I think. burning. Uh, well, still have some copper. I'm pretty sure I can take this before I run out of this one. really good at sniping these pipes all the time. instead just fall back to here it seems like it could work maybe I've just been a, a bit too aggressive with these Respecting the big worms. Oh, this is one pipe too long, yeah. One tile too long.
Oh, at least the pipes are up now. So this should be able to just, yeah, kill most of this. And then I burn the pipes. Perfect. There we go. It's finished. Okay, that worm is down. What I need now is probably to move some more resources down here. To have them all more in one place. Five hundred pipes down there, or four hundred, should be okay. So there it is. Yeah. And a whole bunch of flame turrets. It's good. Configure this again to also take down pipes. And then I'll leave the top one and one in the middle ish and one at the bottom. The rest, like here, will be recycled. Save the walls though. Yeah, then these. Uh, 
And let's also move a few of these down. about 200 that should be okay so that should uh, reduce the latency on these orders by quite a lot still have connection through these. And then uh, let's clear this stone patch here. And start mining it. Let's see if I can get a good unit here. Yeah, kind of. Uh, but okay. And all these all have modules. Let's align it all the way down there. So that is 64, that's about two melts. Okay, and I think I only really need one of them right now. Should I think about how I wrote this belt or just do it? I think I'll just probably do it. Yeah. This one. See, this needs to come in on the right side of the iron. Uh, let's see. 
I guess up here. Needs to come up there. Approximately, so let's run it there. And die in the scorper. It's no longer needed. Touching at the stone flowing again. Looks like in these are 64. So yeah, I, all, I even have enough modules for it. Nice. But I need a few more power poles to get this working. Or upgrade these to mediums. No, that doesn't work, it seems. Let's just do this. completely full on both iron and steel right now. That's at least reassuring. So how's the oil doing? Oh, we actually don't have a full tank here right now. I guess that's because I can't really consume all the petroleum. So I should probably route this into the power plant. Somehow. Maybe that isn't too difficult even. Can go down here. Straight down there, straight over here. Yeah, that even looks kind of easy. So let's do that. And over this way.
Let's run it below pipes. So what's this? Okay, that's a stone, but I just line up. Right. Uh, okay, so up there. And then we can do this. And that will have priority from the left, no, from the right. comes. <laughs> and stone is flowing too, so we will now resume producing walls and these should now be working again yep time to tear this down Also have input priority from the left. fully transitioned. to save a tiny bit of power. And this will have output priority to the right. Oops, wrong one there. So these inserters won't move unless they need to. the coal is already consumed here.
So how's coal consumption looking now? <laughs> you know, I just took a straight dive. So I was about to do this thing here. Yep. Okay. So... Let's go there to try to snipe the swarm. Okay, there come the pipes. And there come the flamethrowers. Yeah, that works much better. Hello, I'm Master Crazy. Good morning, you mean good evening. Right? Right? <laughs> Good morning, I'm about to crazy. How are you doing? I'm doing this, as you can see. Uh, flame turret creeping. Yeah, 6am, yeah, I know. I've been planning to just finish this, whatever that means before I go to sleep. And uh, yeah, I'm getting there. As you can see, I have expanded by quite a lot here by just creeping forward with these flame turrets. Uh, slowly but surely. And yeah, as you can see, it is unreasonably effective. See how far I can go, not quite that far. But I can get there. Let's place the pipes first. Oh yeah, let's hope these worms don't snipe the bots too much. Stone is back up. Oh, and I need to move this, I suppose. Uh, let's put it here, I guess. Uh, there's at least some oil in the pipes, that's enough. Oh, flamers. There we go. That's everything. And now we need to just take that back up. One more layer forward. Let's leave the cliffs where we can. 
That actually is needed, I suppose, because of this thing here. I'm gonna move myself back into the heart of the base again. For no particular reason other than, eh, it's nice. And it makes me slightly less feel likely to get sniped by enemies, even though it's not really likely that they're going to get within my walls ever again. Evolution is now 80%. Uh, but yeah, I don't expect to be having any more troubles with the biters really. As long as I can claim this copper ore, then I should be fine. Because then I can just continue making uh, landmines and, uh, and light oil and all that. And uh, yeah. And I pretty much have infinite ammo for the flame turrets. So now I just want these to attack so I can get these out of the way. Meanwhile, I guess I can get started down here. See, I actually passed very quickly from just barely having robots to just transitioning completely into StarCraft mode and just doing everything remotely with the robots like this. I was expecting to have a bit more of a transitional phase where I would continue doing some things, like continue with some manual intervention for things, uh, like restocking these outposts with ammo, for example. But yeah, the uh, robot production here actually was enough that I could just very quickly reach critical mass of robots. And then just, like this, do everything remotely. And yeah, fortunately I had a lot of flamer turrets stocked up already. Oh, and I need to replace that chest because I took it down in order to move all the flame turrets down here. But yeah, like this. Come on. I guess those are actually locked in there right now. Let's just get them out of the way. And we can continue here. Maybe I should also align this absolutely now. So let's do absolute alignment. And yeah, it's this direction. So let's see. Plus maybe 10x plus maybe 4y. Plus 4x plus 2y. There we go. Okay, and those are gone. Push forward on these. Probably need this one. 
bit further forward. Should give the pipes enough time to arrive. This one will be interesting. Let's take this pipe. Mm, it'll make it dent at least. Okay, that's done. I'm not really using these. I'm just gonna move some of these in there instead. So, walls, then building. Then pipe box, and then turrets. Yeah, and that one can stay there too. <laughs> These worms are not even in range. Well, I guess this is a, an old nest actually, because there's only small worms here. This one was fourteen six. Let's do this one too. Fourteen six. 
should work now. Oh yeah, it does. No? And I guess I need to halve the height to 29 then. Okay, so two, one more, two more. So it was 58 at first. Yeah, and that, let's see, that lines up with, okay, with only that one. Uh, wait, does this, yeah, this also doesn't line up. Um, okay, I think this should be 24. No. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> accidentally got exactly the right amount. And that is 36 minus 4, so 32 is what it should be. To realign it, so it needs to go one, two, three, four, five, six tiles, ten even to the right. Okay, two less. Okay, so 22 and 6. There we go. And the forest actually survived. The flame tower, the, fl the flame turret creeping here. That's better than I expected. efficiency modules on these. But then again, grabbing this will give me the copper I need to make those efficiency modules, so there's that. Okay, and let's move these.
use that one instead so I can turn on this. I guess I can also recycle a bunch of these uh, rubber boards. a very cute stone patch. 249 stone. I almost want, want to mine this just just because. <laughs> oh wow, this also... this lake continues here. Okay, looks like this. Feed is done, so let's continue here. So we need a pipe box, I probably. Will that cover everything? Yeah, if I put it there, it'll cover, cover everything. back. Meanwhile we can continue pushing forward here. Oh, forest fire. now. So this one assembler here is, is serving as well for that. Ow! So yeah, there's flames. It is going to run out now. are these buffers? Oh, three per second. Yeah, that's nothing. <laughs> okay, that's the nest and probably the forest as well. Yeah, there it goes. Sorry, forest. So now I guess I need to start <coughs> start doing the corner pieces again. Up here. So there's a corner piece. Yeah, and I should set the offsets for these two. So that's 50, 32. And 22. To six, I think. Not quite. 
So two more X and maybe 16 more Y. Okay, two less Y. Same thing there, fifty thirty two. And then I'll need to fix the offsets. So it's like minus eight on each, approximately. Okay, we're getting close. So, one less X, I think. Yeah, okay. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven less Y. I'm probably overkilling it with the radars here. Can probably deconstruct a bunch of those. Uh, 
let's do this one again, I guess. Let's leave that one. It's on the edge. Now we can deconstruct all of this. Getting closer to the ultimate goal of this copper ore. Well, not all ultimate, but the current goal. At least. Maybe we'll be able to wall off this way. That could be nice. Might be time to move this forward again. Yeah, definitely time. Can do one more of these though. There's a smidge of water there. Uh, this one will not get any oil out here. It's okay. Uh, let's see, uh, this one...
No, just a few more layers now, and we're there. And another 9 million patch. Or actually, that might be the first one I saw. Yeah, never mind. I've already seen that one. Now I'm also approaching the point where it starts to be reasonable to make train networks. That could also be kind of nice. Finish this one. Actually, just take down the turrets, I guess. Because I still need the pipe for this guy up here. So let's see how we do about this then. I guess we take down the forest here. Take out one spawner. And those are ready, so now I can move these. And now that should probably engage all the robots, I guess. Yep.
Yep. <laughs> this will have to finish first, I guess. Or no? Yeah, that's going to repair. Deconstruct this and then place it again when I have more robots available so that I can hopefully get all of it in one burst. Everything is moved. Okay. And this should also arrive quite soon. I guess. Actually, probably just take down these walls for now, because the repairing is doing more damage than it's helping, really. this up. Let's place a flamer there again. that, see what happens. I 
Because now there are a few pipes here with a bit of oil in them. Let's try to keep the robots from flying near those again. Here come the flamethrowers. Got some of the ones. See if we can get this one back up. not in range here. Let's pick those up. There we go. Finished. All right, and now I can focus on these. It should be a bit easier because they're at a an easier angle. So let's do this one first, I think. And uh, don't. Yeah, yeah, maybe a box will help a little bit. There will reach everything, but there will at least get started. And there will reach the big worm. So let's place it there. Now let's send the turrets. pipes already. Oh, we need more pipes, it seems. <sighs> I messed it up because I didn't have this pipe. Let's see if it's salvageable. Maybe we can get some damage done? Yeah. Some at least. Uh, 
And there's the big worm. Good. It's down and I don't think we need another box. So let's just finish it. So let's see how many turrets I've lost here. 57 flamethrower turrets throughout this whole thing. That's quite a few. But I have also produced... how many? Two hundred eighty-four. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I have spares. Okay, that's done. Take this one out too. Okay, here I cannot quite reach all of it. Yeah, probably a box will be useful here too. Probably gonna run out of energy just before they make it all the way. Oh, maybe. Oh, they did make it. Okay, good. So there's oil. And here come the turrets. Which are not gonna do much, really. Maybe I should just add another layer here. Oh, actually matches up exactly. So yeah, let's just do that. there and a corner oh what was this even I don't remember what this was and corner piece there
know what's funny? The replay of this section of the game is going to look quite boring <laughs> because it's just zoomed in here. Right, I've just been standing around for like three hours or something now <laughs> without doing anything. Well, maybe placing a couple of machines and stuff like that, but yeah. A bit unfortunate that you cannot really zoom in in map view or anything in it, or in replay and it doesn't follow the player perspective as far as I can tell. That's a bit unfortunate. So let's see, we have some pipes there maybe. Let's try to just get the whole thing. Because the chests are right here, so we'll probably just place all of this in one go, I think. Or most of it, at least. So that was a pretty big nest, like this size. And yeah. Like I said a few hours ago, it's starting to look like it's going to be quite difficult to lose from here. So let's finish this one off too. And here I probably need another box still. Because there are quite a lot of big biters here. So how far forward do I need to get? Need to get over there, so okay, let's start here. Approaching 2,000 robots. It's quite decent. Let's hope they can place these turrets before the robots get there to try to repair this. when they do, the worms are just going to snipe the pipes. Uh, come on! Turrets? Maybe? There we go. Should be enough. Just get it all placed in one go.
these pipes to be repaired. Okay, there we go. And there we go. All done here. And yeah, so close. We do another layer here, yep. Now I might need another corner piece for down here though. Because the one I have doesn't really fit for this direction, I think. We can just use this one. Uh, so let's. Kind of works. Almost. Let's do it like this instead. there and the corner filling and then the main filling and then this corner filling And continue moving the turrets forward. Just get started here, I suppose.
don't think we're getting much farther with these right now. Can I fit another layer? Not quite. So let's see where we need to place a uh, turret line. Maybe something like that. This one's probably going to need a box. Okay, and there come the turrets. Placing the turret. Oh no. <laughs> now they're wrecking the pipes. Okay, we have fire. Cool. Let's just hope these flames or turrets survive. Looks like they're not going to. No. Well, we're making some, or we're doing some damage at least. step further. Flavors. Still need a couple more in order to finish off the last few worms. Do they need to fetch everything from here now? Or where are they? Hmm. Oh, of course, it's outside of range. Okay, let's just pack it up and 
add one more layer. Maybe take these out first, actually. So how far can I get? Okay, I can reach all of it here. So let's get some pipes out this way. in the box here too. Oh, those are deconstructing. Okay. I was wondering why they were going the wrong way. Left of a lone worm. <laughs> oh. Hold on there.
This isn't really necessary, is it? Shirts are all up. So you can again move this forward. that this copper ore is now secure well, that's 11 million copper just waiting to be mined and turn into blue signs and other kinds of good things so I want to expand this border a bit more before I am uh, finished here Probably just connect this all the way to this lake. Although that does make this shape a bit concave. So maybe I should also just straighten this out all the way. <laughs> to make sure my bots don't fly over outside of the territory. But I think this just Securing this copper is enough of an achievement for for this session. And from there, like I said a few times now, it's really starting to look like it's going to be difficult to lose from here. So I'm feeling... I'm feeling pretty good about this one. So yeah, next session I suppose is going to be probably straightening it out these borders a bit and uh, of course starting to mine this copper and pulling everything into the into the factory so we can really ramp up production of red circuits and then uh, in so doing also ramp up production of blue science and eventually probably purple science next after that and yeah have lots of empty space to use. We'll have lots of copper and iron to use. We have lots of stone to use. And power is still mm, looking pretty fine. It really is helping to use uh, efficiency modules in all of these miners. See, I guess that's also going to be another thing to do next, is to research better modules and start producing those too. So yeah, from here I think I'm also going to restart this. To keep producing modules and all that. And yeah, halfway through this iron patch and... 
you? Oh no, no. No, we're being attacked here. Okay, so there have been a couple of things been destroyed there. But yeah, mostly this is holding out, probably just due to the fact it's uh, defended by flame turrets. So let's see how many robots. I have two more robots. How many more do I have? Oh. oh, I have 12. Okay. So I definitely can reach up here now with the roboports and uh, play some more radars and stuff. So that's also going to be something to do for the next session. But with that, I'm going to call it here. So thanks everyone for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time. Until then, have a good one, and I'll see you then.